Jeez, yeah. Christ, I'm gonna die. Okay. Come on. How come you're not ready yet? <laughs> you know what time it is? It's high time. Oh. We're the Shrine. We're hanging out here in Venice, California with High Times. Wait, first or last time? time. <laughs> okay. Oh, the first, the first time I smoked weed, I was like, it was just right after middle school. It was like sixth grade. We were walking home, and everybody was, smo- was smoking out of a fucking shitty little pen cap. And I was like, I'm not going to smoke that shit. That shit is garbage. So everybody called me a pussy, and then I was like, all right, I'm going to fucking smoke that. I'm not a fucking <laughs> pussy. And then I smoked it, and I got high as fuck. First time I smoked weed, I was uh, skateboarding with some friends at uh, the local elementary school. For real. And uh, we smoked weed out of what I assume nowadays would be considered a crack pipe. What I usually use, I have a bubbler at home. That's probably my favorite way because bong rips are a little too intense for me. It's also just really smooth, you know, it doesn't really sting at all. Here's the joint because it's quick and it doesn't make your fingers stink as much as a blunt. The blunt is always a good, you know, celebratory thing. I mean, <laughs> like post show, like on the Red Fang tour, I took a case of blunts. And I smoked a blunt in nearly <laughs> every state. And then when the state trooper that was like being a dickhead could, didn't even look in the <laughs> ammo box. It said it's, uh, it's like a full on munitions box full of blunts. Didn't even decide to open it, w- which would have been full of blunts. I had the bright idea. I was like, okay, we're a California band. We're in the snow right now. It's like the, m- the total opposite. Let's get out and like make a video and set up our full stacks in the snow. And the van ended up getting stuck. And state trooper pulls over and it was like federal cops and we're like it's all good we already got it man we're yeah cool. we're, thanks we're like already, uh, like think he was gonna help us out <laughs> right he's like, no, get up against the car here? and then he's like does anyone yeah. have any drugs on him and then he found some in josh's little brother's pocket he swore he didn't have any and that fucking yeah. set him off and he like slammed jason into the side of the fucking car i got really really stoned on some hash in italy Last time we played in Italy, we played in Rome, and it seemed like the show was going to be a total fucking bust. And so instead of playing on the stage, we were just like, dude, let's make it a small, intimate show. We all set up and played on the floor. We didn't think, like, we thought the promoter had totally dropped the ball. I don't know, we, we thought it was just going to be a disaster. So I got with uh, our buddies, Dirty Fences, smoked some hash right before we played and ended up having, like, the best time I've ever had playing in my life. I totally rebelled against smoking weed for a while and, like, didn't want anything to do with it because my parents were such stoners, but I totally... As I get older, love it more and more now and appreciate it and appreciate who they are. They're like, they're like hippies, but they're not hippies. Um, they're really rad. Yeah. 